Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lips Reptiles, and today we're going to do one of our favorite kind of videos to do. It's going to be one that you don't see many other people do, you know, because uh, we're unique like that, right? Actually, we're not. We just don't give a shit. We just do what we want. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you baby snakes. And you're like, you told me this would be something different. And that's not different. Everybody shows me baby snakes. You're right. We're also going to show you the adult counterparts. So you're going to see what they look like as a young baby versus what they look like as an adult. So you can see how much change is there in these snakes, uh, certain genes, certain combos. I'm not getting too crazy because honestly, it's hard finding the same thing as a baby and adults in our collection at this point because it's the way the genes are mixing. But we're going to show you some of those simple things along with eh, probably mostly just simple things this time. Uh, so you can see baby versus adult. We ready to roll up oh, before we do it. Go ahead and stop for a second, click on like. Okay, go ahead and do that. Even if you don't like it, just click it anyway. It only takes 30 seconds, helps me out. It actually takes like a second and a half. So don't be stingy with your fucking time. I spent a lot of time doing this, so does Kurt. You can at least hit the goddamn like button, right? Done. Not that hard. Look, done. Really simple. Done. And then while you're at it, if you actually do like it, make sure and check out our Patreon. You might find that you want to join that great community. We're going to start with a Calibi, which is one of my personal favorite simple snakes to make. These are only a simple three gene snake. Three old genes. I just love the look of these. Uh, this is, an, of course, an adult. This is a proven breeder female, die fly. Uh, nice, nice snake. I love how much white there is in these things. How nice and light that white stays. It's, these things are just, I mean, they're totally awesome. Uh, you do get the darkening with the pastel. So you can see how it's going to darken through here. It's not as bright as the baby we're going to show you. But the cool thing with the calico, you get this really bright yellow speckling through here, which makes it really awesome. So how do they look as babies? Slap that thing up there. Holy shit, vastly different, right? Now this is what I would say is an extremely, extremely high-end calibi. So that is just a pastel calico uh, spider. That's where the names come. So yes, these are spiders. Yes, they eat on their own. Yes, they're fed live. No, they don't corkscrew. No, they don't flip over backwards. Why? Because 99.9% .9 of spiders don't do that. Somebody in the comments is going to say, yeah, but I know a spider that does that. Well, quit watching videos from stupid people on the internet that don't take care of a fucking snake. Most spiders will not do corkscrews or flip around. They'll act just like this. So to show you the difference in a really high level, I'll set this around top there. You can see, if you really think about it, you can see the speckling starting there. That's where this is going to be very bright. This is all going to turn darker like this, maybe not as dark. And you can see how high white it is. This one is going to have white coming all the way up to the spider pattern. It's going to make it very, very, very beautiful and nice. I don't know why you're looking at me that way. That's right. Let's not do that. Uh, so this is just about as good as it gets for a Calibi, y'all. And that, of course, is going to be made available on our Patreon before anywhere else. If I don't keep it. I don't need it. The last thing I need in my collection is more spider. I got too much of it on both sides of the fence. This is why. Uh, this is why I make them. It ain't money. For the first person who goes in the comments and says, hey, you're a dirty breeder who breeds spider just for the money, I'm going to tell you now, go fuck yourself, because adding spider to things does not add value. Actually, it decreases value. Sometimes it actually <laughs> decreases the value. Caleb's right. Uh, it does add beauty. I do this to make beautiful animals that I really like and to put these beautiful animals that I really like into other people's hands. That's why I make that. I'll give you that one to go back. We'll put this one back. We're going to show you about five different of these. This is number one for those keeping score at home. Find number two. Number two looks like it's going to be just a simple pastel exanthic. Not one of our proven females. Now she skipped this year. Not exactly sure why she chose not to give me eggs. Give me eggs! Uh, but really nice. This is a pretty common example of an adult pastel exanthic. Okay, we've got one I could show you too. Uh, and maybe we do that just for shits and giggles. That has gone full dark. Number dark on top. Well, some people think this is what's going to be leading to the stormtrooper and stuff like that. I think more work needs to be done. Uh, you're hearing stuff like this called, I think astro or asteroid or some shit like that more work needs done we have several of these that have darkened up and i've had darkening babies i don't have any right now but uh you're not no this is not why are we shaking her tail girl this, nothing's going to happen up here you're both chicks okay it's not how we're going to do breeding around this house uh at least not for you two um but anyway you can see the difference both are pastel exanthics this is a more common thing you see. This is when it basically increases melanin with age. Uh, right here. Put this one back. Oh. 
We do have a male and a female that have increased melanin. We will be breeding those two together this time. All right, let's see that baby pastel example, Caleb. So there you can really see, yeah, you just drop it right in there. It works out pretty good. How the colors change. This is much, much lighter. This is going to darken up. Why is it doing that? Think about how a pastel acts, right? So you're making a pastel exanthic for a long term. It's a very, very pretty snake. Where I always tell people is a pastel exanthic kind of ends up looking like what you wanted the exanthic to look like. Uh, the pastel is going to lighten it up. It's still going to darken with age. It's going to keep nice silver and nice black. Whereas this is already really there. See how light the head is on this one. It's going to darken up too, most likely, and turn into something more like this. Uh, that's another one. This is, I think, a nicer one than this. But again, pastel exanthic, not a super. You can just see how much color change you're going to have on these. So there's going to be a lot of change. Also about a year difference. This one just shed from Shed Tub. Oh, yeah. And that was a 20, uh, 2022. late 2022. It's a little bit on the younger side. A little bit of a hard starter, I think, originally, right? Uh, but really cool, really cool snakes. This is one of my favorite genes. I love the exanthic gene. Putting pastel in it is definitely a good uh, stop along the way of the project. We might be able to show you some zebra bees in the next video, adults and babies. That'll really make a huge difference. I know I've got a few more still to go. Next up will be a blitz, Caleb. So how do blitzes look as adults or as babies? Blitz, hurricane, and trick in my brain are all probably the same thing. This is a pretty nice example. This is an in-house produced blitz. Uh, so we made this ourselves. It is single gene, been proven, been bred. You can see how close the pattern is. You can see the twisting. This is what your blitz should look like, okay, as an adult. If it's looking, if you have to like look at it and really try to figure out if it's blitz or not, or really have to just like describe why it's not normal to anybody who's been around this for a while, then your blitz is not a very high quality example of what you're looking for. It should be pretty obvious, like this snake is obvious and how busy the pattern is, how big the alien heads are, how much twisting's going on. This is what you want. Throw that baby up here. This one's about a yearling, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Not quite. Uh, but yeah, you can really see the color is much brighter on that young baby and how crazy that pattern is. Again, this is also single gene. This is not a super form. I could show you, you want to grab one of the Blitz Creeks? We'll show you a super form so you can see what it looks like in super while we're at this. This is kind of uh, as a game. But this is single gene. This Part of this is because we worked really hard at our Blitzes, uh, picking our holdbacks long term. Uh, it'll be fine. And it's more of a pattern I want to show off. Um, when you get to Blitz Creek, you get to that. It's going to be much more black, much more eating out holes, even busier pattern. Great uh, this one is in, what I would... Yeah, it's a good term to use. Uh, this one's in shed, and the sides get a lot different. It's just busier. You'll know it when you hit it. So I'll give you back the Blitz Creek, which is super blitz. I'll give you back the yearling blitz. And we'll put this one back up. This is also one of my favorite jeans. Now, if you're wondering why my favorite jeans haven't been put together yet, and don't worry, we have the mail getting ready to make that a thing. So what else do we have, Caleb? I know I opened some more up. So we had five planned. Oh, GHI is one. GHI. So another simple gene. This was a really expensive gene when I first got started. Now you can get these for a song and a dance. Uh, simple GHI stands for gotta have it. But again, they're gonna change from adult to baby. Really look at that, look at the difference in color. Uh, so we have two GHI here to show you as well. This of course, die fly. This of course is the adult. This is of course the baby, of course, of course. Pretty obvious, right? There's not a whole bunch of change here, but there is some change. Look at the difference in color. I like these both as adults and as babies, but uh, these are gonna hold their color probably better than anything else we've shown you so far. And But they just overall do, the, some of the black washes out and some of the color kind of does change. But when you buy these as a baby, they're gonna be pretty similar as an adult, which is kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna hand you this guy. We got one more to show you. And this one's pretty awesome. This is one of our younger males. He is a proven breeder. A little on the small side, but he does pretty good. Uh, this is a double recessive. So what you're looking at here is an exanthic albino. So this is a snow, a visual exanthic, visual albino. You're going to get almost a solid white snake. There will be some ghosted pattern through here and red eyes. Uh, Caleb's going to bring us over a baby snow because it's his offspring from this season. Really cool. I like these animals a lot. And they do look different as babies, believe it or not. Uh, and that is... 
One, you think that snow's white till you lay a baby by it, it's almost translucent. And I feel on the babies, you can actually see, <laughs> sorry little guy, a little more, I the camera's gonna pick it up, pattern. The pattern shows up better on the baby. I can actually make out the alien heads ghosted with a little bit of yellow uh, in it. They tend to actually almost turn into more of an ivory or bone color with age, and they hold that color really, really well. So this is a great way to get what will eventually be an all-white snake, hand that back to you, uh, with red eyes. And you're not getting a whole lot of change. Baby to adult, it's pretty damn similar. So if you want that look to stay, when you go with the all-white snakes, you're gonna get you're gonna get that. Snow is probably one of my favorite ways to make the all-whites, just because of how powerful it is as a breeder and the fact that if you look really close, you will see that pattern just kind of coming through ever so slightly in there. I mean, it's really light, guys, but it's there. It's there. It's almost like it's just almost like a rock carving that's faded away with time. You have to really, really look to see it. And you're like, oh, shit, I kind of see that in there. So that's why I really like snows. All right, that is five adults and five babies. Again, we didn't get anything too crazy. And you're probably like, well, why don't you show me some really crazy shit? Uh, grab me a crazy baby from over there, from the holdback stuff, probably. Give me something nuts. I'll show you why we don't show you the crazy shit, okay? It's really simple. This is really simple. Bring me something nuts. Like, off the hook. I don't care how many jeans are in it. Just something really kick-ass. Everything's in shed. Not everything. I'm not even going to pick. I'm letting Caleb pick. I should have just picked myself because I could have just talked and grabbed one. But now I'm having to fill dead air because I didn't think this through. This is what happens when Matt doesn't plan anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. So this is a Lemon Blast Exantic. So pin uh, pastel exantic. Here's a problem. When you're growing up a collection, which we are still doing, remember, like, we, we grew this on our own pace, right? So things are still growing up and changing. Oh, you're bringing the fucking spinner. I hate you and love you at the same time right now. This is a spinner blast exantic. So this is this snake with spider added. So anybody that sells me spider doesn't approve shit, kiss my ass. It is a jerk, as you can see. It wants to bite me, but it's doing just fine. Also eating live. Um, the fact of the matter is, guys, we don't have adults like this, right? We, we have a pinstripe exantic adult, and we have super pastel exantic male adult, and we have things like that that we use to get to this, but we, we simply don't don't have, actually bred a killer zebra bee, there it was, a uh, male to a pinstripe exantic to get to this. Uh, we, we just simply don't have adults to show you to compare. Um, this is kind of what it is. All right, Kurt, any questions before we put angry up? No. Why are you so angry? You want to bite my face? Don't do it. I said no. Don't. You're gonna. No, you don't get to get close and do that. Come on. Stop that. Caleb, any questions? No. Oh, you guys going to go for it. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's hope you're going to get tagged. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to slide over to Patreon and show you, I don't know yet, but I'll come up with something really cool. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.